your past doesn't determine your future. Your past doesn't de determine your future and anything that has happened or hasn't happened it is benefiting you. Any As I was meditating, so yesterday, yesterday as I was doing, uh, as I was thinking about things that I've been through and things that haven't worked, and as I was looking back on my journey and seeing how far I've come in the past two years, I couldn't help but felt but feel really grateful, feel appreciation and gratitude and just love for myself and for my journey and for everything that has happened and has not happened. And I couldn't help but feel appreciation and gratitude and love for the things that at the moment back in the moment thought that were terrible and that were really bad because I thought because things were not working the way I wanted them to work. Things were terrible. I felt like shit. Uh, things with my health and with my fitness were not where I wanted them to be. Things went with, with my emotions, with my spirituality, with my emotional freedom were not where I want them to be. I would always have negative feelings around who I was, negative feelings around who I, what I was doing. And those negative feelings were causing me to take bad decisions those bad decisions were causing me to take bad action those bad action were giving me bad results that those bad results were giving me bad emotions and i was just stuck on this cycle on this loop of bad actions of bad emotions causing bad actions bad actions causing bad results bad results causing bad uh, emotions all over again and i was just stuck emotionally and spiritually i didn't have a connection with myself i didn't have a an internal compass an internal guiding system that guided me towards the things that were really aligned with me and i was always i was always frustrated and and it was really hard for me to take decisions on whether to go here or whether to go there because i wasn't clear on my core values and on who i was and on who i wanted sentimentally the relation my relationship with my wife a couple of months ago still was shit my, my relationship with my kid was shit we used to fight a lot we used to argue a lot i i yeah i used to not i used to feel like i didn't love them obviously i did love them but i feel resented towards them because i thought that they were holding me back with my business i wasn't making any money and your past doesn't determine your future your past doesn't determine your future and that is one of the main problems that a lot of entrepreneurs have that they let their past determine their future right it's like self-fulfilling prophecy so for example when you jump on calls, on sales calls, and you don't you don't close three sales calls in a row, and then you're like, holy shit, I I am I suck at this, I suck at sales, and the fourth call you don't close it either. But you, the way the, the the reason that you didn't close that call is not because you suck or because you're bad at sales, but because you're self fulfilling your prophecy that you're so, that you suck and that if you didn't close the past three sales, what makes you think that you're gonna close the next four sales, right? So you gotta realize that your past doesn't determine your future. And whatever has happened or has not happened in your life, it, everything is always going in your favor and everything is supposed to teach you some kind of life lesson and help you grow and expand as a human being. So, for example, me with my body, with my physical, with my physical freedom, um, when I was young, I used to be bigger than this. And I, right now I'm stronger and I'm and I'm faster and I'm more healthier than I've ever been, even though I don't look like it. But when I was younger, I used to be way stronger and way, not, not stronger, but way bigger and more ripped and stuff. And it was because I was using some stupid shit. I was using all kinds of supplements and all kinds of, you know, stupid shit that were causing for my health to deter deteriorate. So I looked good on the outside, but on the inside, I was dying. And I had to, to go through that. I had to go through that to realize right now, what is it that I truly want for me? I had to go through not being healthy at all and almost dying to realize what it is that is, what is it that the health truly is, right? And I had to go through shit in order for me to know and, and, and be clear on what I want for my, for my, for my life, um, talking from a health standpoint. Sentimentally, with my wife and with my kids, my relationship with my wife was, was, was it sucked, right? It sucked. I didn't know, I didn't know who, I didn't even know who I was. I didn't love myself. So how could I ever love someone else? I didn't know who she was. I was living with her, but I didn't, I didn't know who she was. We were disconnected. We were lacking communication. We were lacking connection. We were lacking everything, right? We would fight a lot. It was fucking terrible. But 
I had to go through that in order for me to grow and expand and be able to realize what having a good relationship is like. And now looking back, I feel grateful and I feel love and appreciation because of the transformation that I've been able to make in my sentimental life and how right now I'm, I'm sentimentally free. Emotionally and spiritually, I had to go through being depressed and feeling always down and having self-fulfilling prophecies and letting my past determine my future and just running around in circles and being stuck. I had to go through that to realize the power that I have right now, to realize the, the confidence, the certainty, the clarity, the courage that I have right now in comparison to the person that I was today and to have some gratitude and appreciation and love towards what I'm becoming. And business-wise, right, I had to go through not making any money, not knowing what I was doing, taking random action all day, uh, just all over the fucking place to right now having one purpose, um, having one mission to help one person do one transformation and just being aligned and, and feeling successful, happy and fulfilled because I've taken care of the other areas of my life. Um, I have physical freedom. I have emotional and spiritual freedom. I have sentimental freedom. And right now I'm working towards my, my financial freedom. But the reason that I'm working towards my financial freedom with so much power and purpose and with so much clarity and certainty and courage is because I've been able to take care of the other three um, liberties of my life, the other three freedoms of my life. And have you ever, I don't know if you ever heard, but the saying that there's, you don't have business problems, you have personal problems reflecting in your business. Well, there's four freedoms that you have to achieve in order to achieve true freedom. And when you achieve true freedom, you're going to be able to feel successful, happy, and fulfilled. And in order for you to achieve true freedom, you need to have those four freedoms. You cannot just have one and not the other one or have two and not the other two. You need to have physical freedom, having a, have a, a body that is healthy and full of vitality and, and that, that is able to perform to a really high capability and that is full of drive and energy. Emotional and spiritual freedom, being connected to yourself, knowing who you are, knowing who you are and not being influenced by the, by the, by the thoughts or opinions of other people. Uh, not letting someone else, not being reactive to what other people think, knowing who you are, being emotionally strong, being connected with yourself and with God, sentimentally free, being connected with your wife, with your children, with your relationship, financially free, having the money and the abundance that you need in order for you to be able to live an awesome life, right? So in order for you to be able to be truly free, it's not just about the money, but about having it all, about have, being physically free, emotionally and spiritually free, sentimentally free, and financially free. But in order for you to be able to achieve true financial freedom and take care of your business, you gotta make sure that you take care of the other freedoms, right? It's because you don't have, if you're having problems in your business, you're not having business problems. You're having personal problems reflecting in your business. And in order for you to achieve the last freedom, which is the financial freedom, you need to make sure that you are taking care of your physical freedom, of your emotional and spiritual freedom, and of your sentimental freedom so that achieving your financial freedom can just be like a, something easy, something that happens naturally in flow because everything is aligned and everything is easy and everything is going in your favor. If not, that's going to be a challenge, right? If not, you're going to be running in circles. You're going to be going up and down, up and down. You're going to be at work thinking about the, the, the argument that you just had with your wife. You're going, to be, you're going to be at work thinking about how you're an asshole to your kids. You're going to be at work with low energy and low focus and not being able to get shit done because of your health, your health is deteriorating. You're going to be at work trying to make shit happen, but emotionally and spiritually, you're, you're disconnected. You don't know who you are. You, 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 you shake, you're, you, you, you know, you shake whenever you come up, you, you come across something that challenges you, that challenges who you are, that challenges your vision. So if you are a young married entrepreneur with kids, if you're a married young entrepreneur, if you're in your 20s, you're an entrepreneur, you're trying to make it work financially. You also have your husband, father, and entrepreneur. You're trying to take care of yourself physically. You're trying to take care of yourself emotionally and spiritually. You're trying to take care of your family, of having a good relationship, well, having a good relationship with your wife, having a good relationship with your kids, be able to find the time and the energy to pull, pull it all off and you know have your financial freedom as well. Just know that things for you are going to work a little bit differently. All right. And you, in order for you to have true freedom and achieve success, happiness, and fulfillment, you have to get your physical freedom first. 
then your emotional and sentimental freedom for then after that then work on your sentimental freedom the relationship with your wife and your kids and then working on your financial freedom is going to feel so much easy and smooth and aligned and everything is going to feel great so that's it that's all i have for today and uh have an awesome wednesday and i'll see you soon bye bye